let's talk about this in, in view of rappers in view of rappers let's talk about this because this is absolutely crazy and again i'm just thinking to myself like what possesses these guys to go out to this place and do what they're doing here so um unfortunately for fredo free fredo he's been sentenced to five years in a dubai prison for drug possession and most of you will know i think last year he was arrested um for possession of drugs and i think he's been in basically dubai jail um before of guess i guess getting sentenced to go to prison for this whole entire time um there's been no real you know sign of him no statements no nothing he just gets locked up and that's for basically basically it and the latest update here courtesy of Shadeborough is that he's been sentenced to five years in prison and the funny thing about it is that I read online that he got nabbed with 3.5 grams of weed 3.5 grams of weed some people get through 3.5 grams in one day maybe an hour especially if you're a rapper and you've got loads of fucking you know loud packs coming your way for free you could probably smoke a, a you know 3.5 pack in a fucking one session in the studio easy imagine getting put into prison imagine getting sentenced to prison for five years for 3.5 grams can you imagine how depressing that is can you imagine how depressing that must be especially in the place at dubai right the city's like paved in gold right it's a, it's the it's basically the quote-unquote european version even though it's not europe but you know it's the place where europeans go which is equivalent to miami so most likely he was doing something lavish most likely he was on a jet ski the day before he might he might have been in a long body he might have been in a wide body whip he might have been in a limo he might have been in a helicopter. He might have been in a crazy suite surrounded by baddies. He might have been doing the most lavish thing the day before this happened. And then the contrast of what happens then from you going to that situation to a Dubai prison for 3.5 grams is absolutely crazy. But I still maintain, I find it absolutely insane why these rappers go to these places knowing how strict these places are and commit such dumb crimes. Surely weed is not that tasty that it would allow you to risk your freedom especially to this level because it's not like you get a slap on the wrist of a month in prison 18 months whatever it may be they give you like years this is always the case i think the last time it didn't happen was with um, dj esco right um futures dj that's the name of that iconic 56 nights out um mixtape they put together back in the day and that whole story if i'm not mistaken uh, he got caught with i think way more than 3.5 grams but i think dj esco describes in an interview i think if i'm not mistaken he got very friendly with people in there and if you know dj esco you read interviews about him or you see him online he's a really bubbly outgoing um super funny guy so you can understand why dj esco would kind of vibe well because if i don't remember i think he said even in the story one of the reasons why he got a good you know since he got dealt with well in the dubai prison was because people immediately people initially i think felt thought he was from there because of how he looked he's mixed race dude with dreads or something but i think for some reason they just thought he was middle east or something so i think that kind of you know um you know ingratiated him with some people over there and of course he was also you know very open to talking and chatting and shit and if i'm not mistaken as well part of the, the other bit of law is that he befriended somebody he befriended like a guard or something i forgot what it was and also if i'm not mistaken um didn't the u.s embassy get involved as well i think so something like that happened so all those things kind of worked in dj esco's favor he's a great he's a nice dude anyway um he was able to befriend some prisoners in there maybe get maybe get friendly with some guards maybe they knew who he was because he's the future's fucking dj who knows and of course the u.s embassy got involved as well but with fredo he's been a menace right he's been in and out of prison his whole career for the most part he's not the most um pc uh person in the world he's not exactly um you know cookie cutter either so you couldn't imagine i wouldn't imagine the tories being very enamored getting involved and helping him out yo big up nj ranger i appreciate you i think 56 nights crazy yeah, i is, think 56 is, is, is that, nights yeah, crazy. exactly exactly yeah he knows he knows yeah big up nj ranger you know about that mixtape one of the greatest future mixes of all time um but i just can't imagine the uk government getting involved in this considering fredo's image considering the things that he says um <laughs> considering his music the contents of his music i don't think they're ever going to get involved so and also if you know fredo you know like he's one of the rappers out there that weirdly enough he kind of glorifies the road life he glorifies the trap he glorifies being a goon which is part of the reason why we love him 
but you know he kind of sounds like somebody that would enjoy um you know the fact that he's been given these numbers or he's been put in prison you know in a foreign country he'd probably use it as a bit of bragging rights when he comes out and shit so probably no one's going to be out there to help him but i just find it insane just as a point to make at the end that people are willing to risk their freedom for weed especially in a place like dubai it seems like a nice place to go to if you have money if you're into that kind of lifestyle of like going on jet skis, you know, uh, being surrounded by Instagram baddies, wearing APs and shiny jewelry, infinity pools, shisha, um, I don't know, colorful cocktails, whatever that kind of lifestyle is, right? Getting driven around places. It's a nice place to go. Again, it's, it's become like the, it's become the, the Miami equivalent, the European, the European version of Miami for people, for Europeans, but even though it's in the Middle East. Um, so people know Wagwan when they go over there, but they know the rules also. Surely, when you go out there, you could just why don't you suspend your drug use for one day, for one day, for one trip, even suspend your drug use, put it on pause, and then if you want to get back onto the weed, do it when you come back home. Why can't people do that? That's what I'm surprised about. Why can't people do that? Why aren't people allowed or able to put their drug use on pause just to go out there or? Most likely, what I to, what happens, I bet you, is this. I bet you, in places like Dubai, even though they've got really strict rules around drugs and the penalties are really harsh, there's probably a really bustling, bubbling um, drug culture underground or behind closed doors. I bet you, like most places are, right? The more stricter they are on paper, like, you know, the more, you know, the more, the more anti, you know, gay a place is, usually the most the more time people behind the scenes are getting up to all sorts of manner of, of craziness right it happens in all places but if that's the case you have to do that you have to abide by the rules and also do your shit behind closed doors also do your shit on the sly you can't be out here you can't be out here flipping you know doing the most smoking on the streets and shit thinking you're in london um, or thinking you're anywhere else apart from you know dubai and then get surprised when you get nabbed and you get arrested because part of the reason why i kind of like places like dubai is that the rules apply to everybody across the board i do like that aspect of it personally i wouldn't go there it's not really for me not interested but i do like the fact that the rules apply across the board respect our rules on if you if you don't you're gonna get punished doesn't matter how famous you are how rich you are whatever the rules apply across the board and i think that's a good way to sort of like operate or that's a good way to kind of run a country in that respect where people that with money and whatever can't just bend the rules to their favor yes they can do things behind closed doors cool but out in the open nah if you do stuff out in the open you're gonna get punished and the punishment might be five years in prison for 3.5 grams of weed can you imagine can you imagine how fucking annoying that must be because I was watching the other day a clip of um, police doing a doing a random search of Young Fug's prison cell, right? And it's quite depressing to see like Young Fug living in this shoebox size of a jail cell and think to yourself, wow, man, this guy was at the top of his game, widely respected, one of the most talented artists of his generation. And he goes from living in the laps of luxury, being surrounded by all the best and influential people in the scene as he's flipping peers and people that look up to him, you know, and then he's in this prison. But then I was thinking to myself, yeah, you could feel bad for him, but in another way, he was also a legit goon according to what he's been you know accused of in court he was running a legit fucking criminal organization gang type of thing so maybe the day of reckoning was always going to be on the horizon for him but in fredo's case he wasn't out here in dubai he wasn't out from what i know anyway, he wasn't in dubai running an international gang of mercenaries and shit he was just in dubai chilling out of his brodies right chilling out having a good time and he took it too you know he took it too literally to have a good time and then he got nabbed for smoking out of there in the streets that must be even worse than being young fuck because at least with young fuck you probably know deep down your day's gonna come you're being too flagrant you're doing too many fucking crazy shits you're putting hits on people you're bragging about them in record in records and shit you know most likely your day's gonna come but with freddo you know you're going out there in dubai having a good time and then here smoking a loud pack and then suddenly boom things come tumbling down but yeah, free free Freddo same way. Free Freddo same way.